y'all. So it's early. My niece has an 8.30 volleyball game that I'm going to go to. Y'all, I'm not a morning person whatsoever. And I'm to this game. Then I'm going to leave, go to my grandparents' house, pick up stuff from my grandparents' house to take to my parents' house. And then I'm coming back home to relax. Good morning, y'all. It's so early. I need to clean. We'll just put that stuff away. Um, my prepping containers are out because I'm going to do some meal prepping today. Um, I need coffee. My niece has an 8.30 volleyball game. I'm not a morning person. If Harper, if you see this, I love you with all my heart. I'm excited to go see her. I used to go to my little cousin's eight, um, volleyball games all the time. So volleyball is a sport I love to, I do enjoy watching. Um, so it'll be good to see it again, like to see someone else play it. Cause my little cousin, she's, what am I? How old am I? I'm about to be 35. So she's about to be 25. So she does not play volleyball anymore. Um, but yeah, so come along with me and then I have to go to my grandparents' house, pick up some stuff to take it to my parents' house, sit with my parents for a minute because I haven't seen them in like two weeks and they live seven minutes down the road. So I'm spending a little little bit of time with them and then I'm coming home, y'all, to get in my bed and watch movies and relax, meal prep first, then relax. Um, so I'll see y'all soon. Bye. Also, comment down below, how do y'all make y'all coffee? So y'all saw the coffee that I use. And then I have um, this zero sugar creamer. And then I use this um, classic um, hazelnut syrup. It's sugar free as well. I don't have, like, I don't have any more Keurigs. So, like, um, cups, Keur K cups. I don't have any more K cups. So, when I don't have K cups, I will use that coffee that you see in the background back there. Also, so tell me. How y'all like y'all coffee? I use, um, so y'all see that container back there is a container that I use. I meant the type of coffee that I use. I don't have any more K-cups, so I'll have to, I warm that coffee up, but I'll first put in, what is this? Caramel, macchiato. I use different kinds, but this one is the zero sugar. I put a little bit of this in my, in the coffee. And then I will put this um, Torini Classic Hazelnut Sugar-Free Syrup in it. Um, and yeah. And then I put it in the microwave. And when I'm like in a rush or if I don't have any more K-Cups. Because I have a Keurig over there, but I ran out of K-Cups. And I have a disposable like little K-Cup thing. But I just feel like I want this coffee because I forgot I do have coffee from Costa Rica. It's so bomb. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. So this, <laughs> excuse me, y'all can see. This is coffee from Costa Rica. Um, it is the best coffee I have ever had in my life. It's so smooth. It's it's really good. Um, it's a gourmet coffee. Like we watched, we actually ground some of like did. So they showed us how they make it and we kind of like work, help the process of it. Um, they have this actually put an animal, it's actually not really good, but they put an animal on this machine and it go, they go around in circle and it's like, made, it's, it's somehow doing the process of making the coffee. Um, I didn't explain that really well. I sound crazy, but whatever. Um, and so yeah, we bought some because we thought it was really good once we tasted it. Um, so I've been trying to savor it. I've been trying to drink it sparingly. Um, but it's, it's my favorite. So, has anybody tasted these? They're not that great, but I eat them when I want to get, um, a little bit more protein in. Okay, microwave, enough. When I want to get a little bit more protein, um, in, I, you, I do try, I just chew them really fast. Um... Yeah, they're supposed to be keto friendly. It's chocolate and coconut, naturally flavored, and it's plant based. Um, three pieces though are 200 calories. They taste like paper. I ain't gonna lie. Let me show y'all. This is what they look like. Mm -mm, they're not good at all. But I eat them when I need to get that last, like if I have, I don't know, like a few more um, 
calorie no a few more um carbs and protein that i need to get in then i'll just pick this up and eat it so my coffee is done you guys can't really see it but this is what it looks like and i'm now it's 7 54 the game starts at 8 30 but it's only i don't know it's like eight minutes for me maybe 12 minutes at the most so i'm gonna go there in a minute leave my house um so Sometimes I don't get the the combination right with the coffee. Pour a little bit more syrup in there. Um, so yeah, now I'm trying to also decide, y'all, if I'm gonna eat breakfast because my parents are cooking, but that's gonna be way later this afternoon. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna warm up. I'm gonna show y'all what I usually eat for breakfast. So I usually eat these for breakfast. <laughs> so I usually eat these for breakfast. They are good. They are help. They do. I do stay within my calorie deficit when I eat them. Um, let me show y'all. Oops, I have to eat that one now. Okay. But it's just a croissant with cheese, um, egg, and turkey sausage, and um, yeah, egg whites. It's not eggs. It's egg whites cheese turkey sausage i eat these put them in the microwave i now there's a process that makes them better because i like my croissant to be hold on let me turn on my oven i like my croissant to be like toasty so if you put it in the oven it gets soft so i put it in the oven for 30, 40 seconds then i take it out while i wrap it in paper towel put it in the microwave for 40 seconds then i take it out place all i take this apart and put it on my aluminum pan and put it in the oven for like a few minutes. Like I, so y'all, I do it in a weird way. I don't wait for the timer to go off on the oven. I put it in there and then when it blinks to tell me or makes noise to tell me that it's at 350, then I'll take it out because it's done like perfect. So I'm about to do that because I still have time. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about Harper. So Harper is my niece. She's 10 years old, very, sweet and smart little girl. Harper's mom and I, and I have known each other since I think fourth, third or fourth grade. Um, and then we went to high school together and we went to college together. We both attended North Carolina Central University, Eagle Bride for, um, and then when we uh, and we've just been friends ever since. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do a lot of things at once. And we've been friends just, you know, ever since. Um, and Harper is, she loves anything to do with, like, the solar system. At, like, a really young age, she could tell you everything you need to know about space and the planets and which planet is which and all the facts about them. And she still loves space. Very smart little girl. Love her to death. Um, she's hilarious, too. So we're going to see Miss Harper. I went to her dance recital. So if you watch my other vlog, you saw, okay, microwave. You saw that she was in, um, that I was at her dance recital. I go every year. Sorry, guys. Oh, so this is what it looks like. Boop, boop. It's still kind of frozen. You can see it's cold. Um, and I just like spread them out. I break it apart. Break it apart like this. And, oh no, the cheese. I usually put the cheese on the bread and the egg is by itself. All right, and then I shove it in the oven. Now, while that is going, I'm gonna put away my dishes in the dishwasher, that are in the dishwasher, and then I have a couple in the sink that I need to put away. So, I'm gonna do that. are dying i got these i went on a date the other day and he bought me flowers <laughs> um but now they're dying so i gotta figure out what to do i mean this one kind of still looks decent i don't really want to get rid of them but these they gotta go but the sunflowers i like it um i gotta get rid of all that stuff when i come back all right y'all i'm about to eat and Oh, I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. 
So, oh. <laughs> so this is what it usually looks like when it's done. It's like kind of crispy at the bottom, sort of. And y'all, I like to add, I like everything hot, so I add hot pepper flakes to it because I'm a maniac. <laughs> it's the only explanation. I just love hot stuff. And it looks like this. You hear that? Oh, they're supposed to be sending me, um, y'all, I'm out here. My dad is a real mechanic out here. Cool. I just put a, um, battery mm -hmm. and a, um, alternator. I put that on yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, you need your own, like, shop. Uh-uh. I don't like working on cars like Earl and Sam. I was going to say, y'all always working on some cars. You got to. Y'all, my dad will work on cars forever. Mm -mm -mm. This is on the way to cook lamb chops. Oh, look at them lamb chops. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They look good too. And this is gonna be a, the little shorty. Oh, the shorty video. Yeah. These lamb chops gonna be perfect. They're gonna melt in your mouth. Yes. They're beautiful. Look at them. Oh, they look good. Yes. Wait till I tell them. Turn them into magic. When I put the gopping. Look at that. It's going to be on and popping. Look at that. It's going to be Look good. At that. What you going to do to them, Dad? I'm going to brush them down with butter and garlic. Oh, and get man. them nice and tender. Mm. And she's going to be on and. It's going to be on and what? Popping. <laughs> Tell them again, Dad. It's going to be what? On and popping. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Just. You said what, mama? Yeah. Literally ran from me because she don't want me to get her a cat. Good morning, family. It is the next day, Sunday. So I'm getting ready for church. Well, in a minute I will be. Got my breakfast going in the oven. I have coffee and yeah. So I have to stay after church today a little bit longer because I have to do registration. Y'all know I be jetting out of church. Soon as he, we say, we do the little dismissal thing, I'm running out the door because I, I just be tired and I just be ready to come home and do nothing. But I'm staying today because we have registration. My little cousin and I are hosting a singles event for the singles at our church. And so we have to stay to do registration for that. Um, listen, if you don't have no anywhere to worship, please join us at Miracle Temple Ministries where in Raleigh, North Carolina, where the pastor is Pastor Carlos Wright and his beautiful wife, Yvonne Wright. Um, yeah, wonderful couple. They're my aunt and uncle, so shameless plug. And yeah, I'm biased. But they're still great. Everybody will tell you that they're great. Um, so come by and worship with us if you get a chance. Um, I'm going to eat my breakfast out and eat, and then go get, take a shower and get dressed. Family went to eat.
eat at Longhorn for dinner. I had this grilled crusted chicken, Parmesan crusted chicken, macaroni and cheese, and Brussels sprouts, and it was so bomb. I couldn't eat it all though, because it was a lot, but it was really good. Now I'm home, about to watch a movie, and do some editing um, of some videos that I need to post, and just gonna relax. I have a cup of coffee, my second cup of coffee of the day, because I just love drinking coffee. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Also, I had a conversation today talking to my uncle, like me and my little cousin. We were talking to my uncle and we were talking about how men today are different than men were back in the day. And my uncle was telling us about how when he first met my aunt, what drew him to her, because he um, was like really real, was like there were other women and like when they were dating, not like before he started dating my aunt, there were other women that he had dated. And he was like, what drew him most to my aunt was the fact that he felt like he could trust her. And he felt like like he could envision himself being married to her and having kids with her and all this good stuff. And he just felt like um, the moment she told him that she was like, went into a covenant with God, he was like, oh, she's different. She's not like the other women. And so, um, cause we were just like, what is it that men are really looking for in women? Even though everybody, or everybody's different. Like people are looking for different things, but like, what are the basics that men draw men to certain women, especially women who are in the church? And I really felt like that was a really helpful conversation with him. Um, I really love talking to my uncle who's also my pastor. He's very, very wise. Um, so if you are trying to figure out you know, like what direction you're going with your life. Talk to the older people because they have a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge. All right, y'all, I'm closing out the vlog for tonight. As you can see, my little background, I'm getting ready to do some videos for my business page or my LCSWA page. And then I'm going to read a little bit. Um, the Urban Apologetics Cult and Cultural Ideologies by Eric Mason. Um, I saw this on Jackie Hill Perry's page. Uh, she just kind of showed books that she read in 2023. And so, and this was the third time that I have seen this book mentioned. And I actually looked at buying it a little while ago, but never did. So I was like, okay, this is confirmation. So I'm going to get into this and, um, yeah, just calm, you know, relax for the evening. So until the next vlog, I will see y'all later. Be well, be healthy, be happy, be whole. I love you guys. Bye.